Good afternoon. It's Chili Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I don't know why I'm feeling very excited. I don't know why and in a really good mood. So what better place to spend this time than with you guys here in my art room. I just want to thank you all so much for the absolutely amazing um, amount of subscribers and absolutely wonderful comments I've been getting from you guys you have been brilliant so I'm just just wanted to say that quick thank you okay this you're thinking what is she doing okay what I'm doing is I'm going to do the kiss and blow what did the lovely Ali she calls it uh blowing and kissing blowing and kissing so there you go i'm blowing and kissing ali thank you um i'm using the montmart studio acrylics i'll explain as i go along i have mixed them with my pva glue and water the recipe is in a drop down box there's either a little v there or you can click on descript on the description and it will drop down the box to give you my pouring medium recipe and how I make it and I just add I've just added two drops of Helmar silicon I've tried all the other different silicons and hair products and whiz bang things under the sun and that is the best results that I get for me right, I'm just putting on my other overhead light so uh, just two drops in this particular pour thinking what's she doing with the I've put the masking tape actually my son did this for me put the masking tape around here because my son is an artist an airbrush artist and I've seen a piece that he had done and it looked as though it was already framed and then when I seen it and he said no mom I just mask around here that when you finished you've just got to very carefully score it with a, the sharp object which <laughs> bear with me because I might cut out the canvas but um, and it kind of leaves an effect like there's a frame so I will show you guys at the end what it ends up looking like after I've took the tape off so hopefully I don't pull the whole painting to bits otherwise back to the drawing board but I'm gonna put um, white on the bottom of this I'm just thinking whether I go with I actually okay I made up this white so this was Montmartre white but I added silver metallic to it because I wanted to get that metallic -y sheen in it and then I added a daub of dragonfly glaze I just added a little daub of this so to see if I can get that shimmeriness in it whether I will or not I'm not sure so I'll pour this on give it a spread spread a spread out whenever you want to find your tools now I'm, as you know I just normally spread it with my fingers but because I've got this particular um, masking tape on I thought I'd just take a little bit more care and do it to the edges of my masking tape but it doesn't really matter I'm just thinking that maybe this style that my son does with his art uh, won't work with acrylic pouring maybe not because I might end up pulling all my paint off when I lift up that masking tape but you got to trial and error things and I'm doing the trials for you guys I'll try and put a photograph up of his finished piece that I've seen of his that I really like that's given me you know the want to try this put in the um so I use plenty of white well white with a dob of silver with a dob of dobber dob of this and a dob of that okay 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna do the style where, um, okay, let me think. So the, the Montmartre, this one is the Montmartre purple. I think it's the, oh, actually it's the violet, Montmartre violet, so there you go. I've made my paints a little bit runnier than I would normally because to do the blowing effect, I find they, they just work better if you have them thinner. So, um, got like nearly every shade of pink here. So I think this one is the Carmine. I know it was one that's Carmine, one that's magenta and one that is something else. <laughs> so just go with it. Which one's this one? One is oh, crimson, crimson. Got crimson, carmine, magenta. So the kind of fifty shades of pink in this. Fifty shades of pink. So this one will be the magenta, I would think. I mixed them up yesterday. As I've told you guys before, I like mixing my paints at least the day before. Um, I just find that they, they, it just comes out better. Um, I don't know why. I just get better results. So that's just a personal thing as you might think, no, it's fine, I can do it. So you do it whatever way suits you. That's your art room, your rules, your way. So there's all kinds of pinks in there and I'm going to throw in the mix, which this is the Montmartre orange, but I've put a nice big dab of yellow in it. It, it kind of brightens it up even further. And I actually love pinks and orange together. They come out very delicious, very delicious. And I'm going to throw in the mix. So I'm hoping this, some yellow might put it out here a bit not too much oh okay I think I've got more than enough there I will just put a bit of this silvery white back through so it can sort of just need to be able to have plenty of paint to blow it on but I'm going to blow it both ways so back and forth remember it's I probably have got way too much paint I need to really try this on a much bigger canvas so I can give it a real good go I'm going to use just a bit of the Montmartre pouring paint so I can as I've been putting them kind of a bit further out because then they end up um, sort of causing a nice outline around the blowout the blowout so this one that one's the silver and this one's the gold so note to oneself you must do a bigger duvalaki a bigger um, canvas okay I've got the trusty old dryer it's an, actually it's, this one's a big cumbersome one I'm gonna see if I can find my little portable my little um travel one i think that would work better because it's a bit cumbersome this is a bit of a pain but never mind just go with what you've got you do use it on cold and you try to use it on a low blow because i've ended up with paint on my ceiling when i put it full on believe me it was a laugh at the time and i did have to laugh my husband laughed but said you're cleaning it up so here we go for the blowout just check that you're still with me yeah because my camera as you know has been playing up I haven't replaced it yet uh, so okay I'm gonna go for it oh I've already blown something off
it'll go back the other way because I want it to go over the edge. Just take it nice and slow, no hurry. Bowls of fire! <laughs> okay, I'm just going to blow these out a bit so they're a bit softer. I love putting the gold and silver, it seems to really, um, yeah, just, just add a little bit of something at the top end, so. Oh, you've got this gold as laced through that purple. Oh, excuse me, I'm dribbling. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. Yeah, the gold as laced through that purple, just superb. It's just lacing through. Can you see where these holes are coming? It's probably because I shouldn't have had any silicone, but it was already made up. But I will do. That's it's going to be the kissing and blowing, so... That's over the masking tape, actually. So I'm not worried about... Just wanted to soften these areas up. I've only left that bit of white, which I really would like heaps of white. Loving the colours. So I've got enough left to do on a bigger canvas so i will be trying that next so here goes if my little this is just an ordinary size balloon and it's called the aussie kiss of life so giving it the kiss of life um it's just an ordinary balloon that i put the little um end underneath my tap and filled it just a little bit with water and sealed it just gives it a little bit of weight to use to do your balloon kissing. I'm only going to balloon kiss it around this edge, she says. If the kisses don't come out nicely to begin with, walk away from your canvas and leave it... Oh my gosh! Uh, let, sorry. Uh, leave your canvas for maybe uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, even 40 minutes for your paint to absorb into the canvas a little bit and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just getting so excited look at the colours coming up through the, oh, I love these colours um, you know, write down the colours <laughs> that I've just done because these are gorgeous together gorgeous and how beautiful will they look on a nice big canvas Got to, got to do this on a big one. Oh, I just love these bright, uplifting colours. They're so yummy, very yummy. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Blowing and kissing. That there, put that there. Oh, I just hope this tape. <laughs> pulls off nicely now when I come to pull it off I don't know if I don't know how long to really leave it but that is gorgeous guys these colors are just the bees knees the bees knees 
They're beautiful together. I don't know if you're seeing how... I'm just going to give it a little baby one there to get rid of that. Uh, they're just gorgeous. Really, really vibrant, happy. That's just how I felt today. Look how your painting comes out. Oh. Wow. It's a good life. It is a good life. I tell you, when you can come into an art room and or a shed or a kitchen table and just put some colours together that brighten and uplift your day, then it's a good day. It's a good day. Oh, look at that. Just with a little balloon, what the kiss of life does. Oh, that is absolutely flipping gorgeous kissing gorgeous i tell you oh you're a nutter i'm a nutter yes but i love that look at that looky looky oh my god i love it i love it love it i'm gonna leave that all i will do to that now is i'll just see how it dries um and i hope that i can get this tape off without peeling my work off I don't care if the paint dries like how you see it a bit textured here that's absolutely fine with me I'm not worried about that at all but that is a stunner it really is my dogs have come running in yes it's a stunner kids it's a stunner I love it thank you so much for joining me Tell me what you think. You might not be as excited as I am, but I certainly have to do that, those colours on a much larger canvas with a, a big negative space on it because I've gone way too far up that canvas. But I love it. I really love it. So thanks again so much for joining me. Until next time. Um, oh, my goodness. I've got to think of a joke. I've got to think of a joke.